Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Emmanuel and this is Cuba. Havana is an interesting city. It has two sides to it. So one side is very poor. Uh, buildings are torn down. The people are really struggling. And on the other side, you can see majestic buildings, all the fancy restaurants and hotels. We will be staying here for seven days, four days in the beginning, and three days in the end of our journey. So we hope we have enough time to explore every little part of it. Welcome to Havana, the capital city of Cuba. In seven days that we spent in the city, we experienced a lot. And these are a few interesting things that we noticed. Very few Cuban people speak English. Most of them speak only Spanish but they are very friendly and kind, and we really enjoy their company. In the old town of Havana, everybody wants to sell you something. From cigars, drinks, food, taxi ride, to money exchange. So, if they start their sentence with, Where are you from, amigo? And you don't need anything, I suggest you just ignore them. Also, don't expect any nice beaches in Havana. They are hard to access, mostly rocky and not very looked after. But you can go with a bus or taxi only 20 minutes from Havana to the north where you can see some great ones. Suburban of Miramar, where we were staying in the beginning, was very poor and the stores were mostly empty. The Cuban people get their food from the government, but everything in the store for tourists is pretty expensive and in a very limited choice. So your best option is to eat in restaurants or snack bars. We were struggling to find good food. You have lots of options to eat street food, but to get some proper food like meat or fish that is not fried with some vegetables is hard to find or compared to street food, a lot more expensive. The old town of Havana where we stayed our last few days is really magnificent. A lot of amazing buildings, parks and old American cars. You can also buy very cheap tourist SIM card at a company called Atexa so that you have an access to internet and it will make your stay in Cuba much easier. I definitely recommend taking few days to explore Havana.
Congratulations! If you made it this far, it means you made it to the end of the video. So, if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, of course, leave a comment. Bye!